Good evening, Diads. Red Sox Yankees series preview. It's best three out of five. Look, I'm excited. I got butterflies. All good feelings being a diehard Red Sox fan. Um, that was the one thing. Haven't seen tickets for 17 years. I saw three World Series and some heartbreaking games, but that was the one thing I wish I got more of. I got spoiled in 04, and then they never had a ride. They haven't played a playoff game against each other since. So um, I'm excited about tonight. Chris Sale will go up against. Um, J.A. Happ, a lefty that came over from Toronto at the deadline. Tonight's a huge game for both teams. Bigger game for the Red Sox than it is the Yankees because they are the home team and they have home field advantage. And the only way to nail that down is to win game one. Um, the lineups, both great lineups. Aaron Judge back healthy. Gary Sanchez for the Yankees. Uh, he's back healthy, hitting bombs. John Carlos Stanton's been hitting home runs ever since the season started. The Yankees broke the record for regular season home runs. You got Aaron Hicks, a guy like Luke Vaught, who even had 10 home runs coming up in September and playing a lot. Um, you know, you got Neil Walker off the bench, a good lefty with some pop. Gleyber Torres, Miguel Anduar can take you deep at any point of the game. You know, so they have a lot of dangerous weapons, guys. Aaron Hicks, good, good hitter from both sides of the plate. Um, he'll be batting third. Uh, he batted third against the A's. I, went, I think he's actually going to be batting third to start this series out, too, as well. So, going to keep an eye on that. Red Sox, you know, Mookie, Benintendi, Bogarts, J.D. Martinez, Betts and, Betts and J.D. had uh, MVP seasons. Mookie probably gets it, but they both had MVP-type seasons. Um, the end of Bogarts, 103 RBIs. That was a career high for him. Andrew Benintendi lurked around 300 all year long. I'm not sure what he finished up, but it was probably 290-something. He was 299, 301, 302, 297, literally for like two straight months in that range of batting average. Also had close to 100 ribbies. The Red Sox, listen, the Red Sox are at home. They worked hard all year to get the home field. They got to show them that they are for real. Show everybody that this is as good as they really are. They deserve home field. They beat the Yankees by eight and a half, nine games because they're that much better than the Yankees. They got to go now go out and show it. That's the bottom line. Um, Nathan Eovaldi will go in game four. Very excited about this. Alex Cora decides to use him in Yankee Stadium where he's had great success pitching there. Um, he seems to always come up on the top, uh, on the winning end when he pitches there. So I like that a lot. Um, I think that's a great idea by um, Cora starting out because you get sale for the deciding game five back here in Boston if need be. Rick Porcello and Luis Severino will go in game three at Yankee Stadium. And tomorrow will be David Price opposing Marshihiro Tanaka. All intents and purposes, the Red Sox have two pitching matchups where they're favored in the first two games. They should get both of these. Then they have a day off on um, Sunday. They play Monday um, in Yankee Stadium with Severino and Porcello going. But they, they got to get these first two. One at a time. One inning at a time. One hit at a time. But... Let's try to get, you know, get tonight with Sale, get Sale healthy, get Sale rocking and rolling. Kind of going to watch velocity, command of his breaking, off-speed and breaking pitches, as well as, you know, how many pitches he's able to throw. So keep an eye on all three of those things tonight when you're watching Sale pitch. Should be a great game. The atmosphere is going to be great because, you know, they haven't had a, um, we haven't had an atmosphere since, like this, like a game like this since 2004. So this is just going to be pandemonium, jam-packed. It's going to be so fun. I actually wish I was there. Brian's going, so Brian, have a good time. Be safe. But uh, it should be a lot of fun tonight, especially if you've never been to a Red Sox-Yankee playoff game. Put that on your bucket list if you love sports because it is uh, it is pretty cool. doesn't matter what stadium you go to either. You know, it's cool. They both get down and into it. Okay, and so also we have, um, I'm trying to think here real quick. I wanted to say, did you pull up? Oh, yeah, okay, so the Red Sox have the lefties going against the Yankees. Price and in, in Sale are both lefties. They kept uh, Bobby Pointer off the playoff roster for this series, so they went with um, Ann Heath Hembry. They decided to go in another direction with Joe Kelly and um, trying to think who the other one was. Joe Kelly and someone else made the – oh, Brandon Workman made the playoff roster over those two. I like that. They're going to go right-handed to match up with the Yankee hitters later in the game. I like the Red Sox in four. I'm going to stick with that pick. It should be a tight one. Um, tonight is huge. I'll check in with you after the game. Those Sox.